Now, hi there YouTube, welcome to another Biomold dehumidifier video. Um, today we'll be talking about how long you should run your dehumidifier. Um, I've enlisted the help of two beautiful models. Uh, we have the, 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 the shorter curvy um, Dem10, the, the longy Dem10, and the, the taller, elegant Miko Zambezi DD8L. Um, the, the Dem10 is actually a compressor dehumidifier and the Miko is a desiccant um, dehumidifier. Um, so there are two types but I also want to talk about two different types. Um, funnily enough now the Dem10 is a manual de dehumidifier whereas the Miko is a automated dehumidifier. Um, normally when people talk about the two types of de dehumidifiers they talk about the the compressor type and the desiccant type, but in this case we're going to talk about the manual type and the automated type. Um, to say not all compressor dehumidifiers are manual, and not all desiccant dehumidifiers are automated. Um, basically, the more you spend, the more advanced the feature you you'll get. Um, and the, uh, most of the top end dehumidifiers have energy saving uh, te technology which will save you money uh, which, which I'll explain in this video. Uh, but first we'll just look at the Dem10 which is a manual uh, dehumidifier. So the, the best approach to work out how long to run the Dem10 is to buy a cheap damp meter um, I actually have a, a link to six of the best damp meters um, in the link below this video. Um, and this is basically how to use the, the, the DEM10 or a manual dehumidifier. So what I would do is I'd have to get my damp meter. Um, I have one, but my wife actually took it to work to, to see how humid her office is. So <laughs> I asked her to, to bring it back, but she hasn't. But anyway. Uh, so what I do is I I take my damp meter uh, I uh, see how humid the the room is so say it's maybe sixty eight percent relative humidity and then what I do is I I turn it on up all of the way full bore power 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 um, and that will will bring your humidity down as fast as, as possible so here it says continuous. Mm, I don't know how to focus it, but that's what it says, continuous. So it's uh, operating at, at full power. Leave it on full power until it brings the humidity down, down, down. Um, until you have maybe at about maybe between 55 and 60 percent. Then what I do is I would turn this down a bit uh, to, I don't know, just to, just pick a, 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 a random spot, but, but maybe not uh, 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 too low. So, so, so say maybe if I have it here, um, then I'll just leave it running on the on the setting here until the the humidity changes. Um, I might go back higher, 60, 62 percent, or it might stay the same, or it, it might fall down maybe to maybe say 56 or, or 55. If the humidity rises, that means you you just have to turn it up up more. If the humidity stays the same, leave it. If the humidity falls, then 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 you'll be able to turn it down a a, a bit more. Um, I suppose you could maybe um, run it until the hum humidity is even, um, or um, by even I, I mean your set level, your 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 target level, um, and then you can turn the the, the humidifier off. Um, and then maybe maybe turn it back on. Maybe uh, once the damp meter says that the the humidity has risen over a certain level, so I probably definitely turn it on if the humidity is over sixty percent. Um, and I probably turn it turn the the humidifier off is if the humidity is at fifty percent. Uh, uh, well, say maybe between fifty and, and fifty five. Um, in the in the winter, you might go a small bit lower say maybe between about 45 or 50 um, but just make sure the air isn't too dry um, so that's how I would handle that um, just basically use a damp meter to monitor the situation and then once you have your target humidity level reached um, then I would turn the the manual dehumidifier off 
Um, so that's that, I'll just turn this back up. Um, and then we have your automated dehumidifier, which is great. Um, this is a Miko, and Miko have a energy saving system uh, which they call Control Logic. Um, basically, with the Miko, you can just leave it running all all of the of the time. Uh, basically, what happens is is this. So um, I can basically set the humidity level to reach say 50 percent uh, um, and the the humidifier will work until the humidity drops down to 50 percent then uh, you, using the energy saving technology the the humidifier turns itself off uh, for 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 half an hour um, so basically the uh, the unit isn't operating for half an hour then it turns itself back on for five minutes um, and it, it senses the the humidity level in the air. If the humidity level has risen, it will automatically turn itself back on in the most appropriate setting um, and, and the most efficient setting uh, for both extraction and energy usage. Uh, so it's actually a very, a very smart machine. Um, it will then work to, to bring the humidity back down um, until the target uh, humidity level is reached and then it will turn itself off again automatically for half an hour um, after which it will sense the air for five minutes etc. Um, after it's been off for half an hour and it senses the air for five minutes if the humidity level has fallen or stayed the, the, the same then the, the, the humidifier will turn itself off again for half an hour uh, before it senses the air for, for five more minutes. So. Um, it's actually very, very energy e efficient. Um, if the humidity level stays the, the same, run by the same, then this unit will only operate for, for um, 10 minutes out of every hour at a very low fan speed. Um, so that's, that, that saves you. So, so, so that is actually much more efficient than this. Uh, but there's nothing. nothing <laughs> Uh, against the uh, Dem 10, um, the 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 10, Dem 10 is uh, much more affordable, whereas um, the 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 Miko Energy Efficient range it, uh, would be more expensive, especially the Zambesi, which has got loads more features. Um, um, so that's basically how long to to run them for. Um, you can basically leave the Zambesi on all, all of the time. Uh, uh, because it will be very energy efficient once it reaches your set humidity level. Uh, you have to be more more proactive for manual um, the humidifiers. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any more questions, um, just maybe leave a comment in the in the, in the comment section below. Uh, and if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please like it. Um, and if if you want more tips. Uh, more handy dehumidifier tips, uh, either with uh, purchase cost savings or energy cost savings, or how to make them more efficient. Um, just maybe subscribe, uh, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, thanks a lot.